Boys, this could be the final match of the WBE for us, the Pittsburgh Pichus, or even for our coach we're going up against today. My boy, my nigga, Drew. <laughs> uh, people call him Mr. Talent. He's a coach of the New York Marauders. His team is juicy and spicy. Uh, Matchup-wise, I think I have it, but... The Latias is kind of scary. I can't front. Like, it kind of just comes in. But who knows? Maybe he doesn't bring it in intimidation of the Skun Tank. Who knows, right? Who actually knows, am I right? But this match is really important, guys, because if I lose, I'm out of playoffs. If Drew lose, he out of playoffs. We're fighting for playoff contention. If I win this game, I'm in playoffs. If Drew wins this game, he's in playoffs. Vice versa for the loser. You know what I mean? So, because we have the exact same record. Apparently, differential doesn't matter. So that's what's crazy. It all just comes down to uh, who's got the better record. So that's wild. That's actually really wild. So um, guys, hit that like button down below. Please comment your feedback on the match, what you think. Again, it is very real to give criticism without being a cunt. That, that is just very possible. A little life advice there. All right, we're going to go in now. Um, if he just doesn't bring Buzzwall to be awesome, because... Uh, yeah, but then at the same time, it sucked because I brought like three mods. They didn't borrow flying. So, okay, he doesn't bring it. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, he does bring pretty much everything that I expected. I guess the the one thing I I, I thought that he'd bring Buzzwall all over would maybe be the Gyarados. But Buzzwall is kind of like 50-50. You know what I mean? Uh, Neha Lego is kind of scary. Damn. Neha Lego kind of scary. Okay, so my Zapdos is Scarfed. So, but DD Gyarados kind of just sweeps me. So I got to watch out for that. Um, like on paper, his team is extremely tanky. He has a Nihil Lego. He has an Intimidating Gyarados. He has a Stun Fisk, which I know it's, it's juicy tanky with that HP stat. Uh, it has an Empoleon, it has a Latias. Like this nigga just brought six Mons that are fat because I run Mega Medi. Like I'm never drafting this Mon again. <laughs> Yo, I'm never drafting this mod again. I I don't I don't have any debug. So you had three mons with hazards. Uh, uh, uh I don't I did not bring in defog this week. I brought Scarf Zapdos so that way he doesn't uh, body me with um the Gyarados. But I mean, what do I lead? I just lead Swampert. I don't lose anything leading with Swampert. Like worst case, I lead with losing a Swampert is um. He leads Gore Guys for some reason. You know what I mean? I should write down his team. Gore Guys, Latias, Gyarados, Polion, Nihilego, and Stun Fist. Hey, fun fact if you guys didn't know, I left a Gyarados in a Stun Fist like five years ago, and nobody seems to get over it. Move on, get a job, start a family. <laughs> All right, boys, here we go. He didn't bring Mega Adino either. He didn't bring that either. Buzzle is kind of hit or miss, you know what I mean? God. Ah. Like, I mean, yeah, it was obvious I was going to lead Swampert. Why did he not lead Sunfisker and Polion? Like, like, this is optimal, but I wish he did, you know what I mean? Because I'm not standing. You got me messed up. He just gets a free Willow off. I'm going to literally go out to Gooch. I have so much Hidden Bar flying. I've hit him by flying on my Gudra. Oh, never mind. I just tweeted him by flyers. And on my Zapdos, obviously. But, um, yeah, I don't have it on. I don't know. Like, now the knowing that he's not bringing. I kind of wish I'd hit him by grass. I can't lie to you, dude. It's like I touched Sunfisk. Like, Sunfisk is. I don't have Giga Drain either. I don't have Shockwave. But I have Earthquake. So that should be enough uh, for Sunfisk. Or should help. Man. Um. Okay, I don't want my Tangrowth to get Willowed. I don't want my Doomblade to get Willowed. I think I just have to go Zapdos or Gudri here. So it really just depends on who I want to choose. Um, I want my Zapdos to stay a little bit more healthier. So I think I'm just going to go out to Gudri. He stays in. I don't think he goes for a Grass, but I think he goes for Willows or Toxic. Maybe Leech Seed. I don't know. It was an optimal play. There's no way I'm staying in, so it was the optimal play. Bruh. 
Like, I wasn't surprised you let off with this man. I'm disappointed, though. Okay, who does he got against this man? Uh, nine times I said he would go Empoleon. So, do I click Ice Cream regardless? Or do I click Thunderbolt here? But if he stays in, that could be bad, too. Um... Okay, what if I double out to Zapdos here? What am I what are my cons? If he goes to Sunfist, that would be a con. He doesn't hard switch in Latias. It's not possible, dude. Bro, like even if I ice beam and for some whatever reason I get the freeze off on the Empoleon, it doesn't matter because he has Skull. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't matter. So I don't know. I feel like it'd be a bad play for me to click Thunderbolt. Cause I, like he could just stay in, you know what I mean? Like he should, he could just stay in if he wanted to. But I mean, guess I don't know. Maybe he saw well. Maybe he's running both. I don't know, guys. I I don't know. I mean, I I kind of want to just go out to Zapdos. Cause like well, he doesn't touch me, you know what I mean? I swallow Shadow Ball. I'm Sap Sipper. I'm already poisoned. I'm I'm gonna do it and see what happens. Protect. I mean, I guess that works out for me, dude. That's crazy. Okay, I'm U-turning. He's not singing. That's crazy. That's Sunfisk. Stupid kid. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. It's protect. For a high jump kick. Maybe, maybe Boombers? I'm not sure. He also brought both and pulling in the Lego, so I do not regret actually not bringing my, um, I don't regret not bringing my, my, my X-Plot. Okay, so what, okay. I have two I have co plays here. I can go Tangrowth if I wanted to. Uh, if I go Tangrowth, he, he, he swaps out. He goes just goes back out to Gorgeist and vice versa. I'm in an obnoxious spot and then he gets a free Toxic off again on whoever I swap out into. Um, if I go Medicham, this, if the thing in front of me dies, somebody is taking a lot of damage. Like if I go Medicham, who is he going out into? You know what I mean? If I go Swampert, I'm forcing him out into Gore guys. If I go Tangrowth, I'm forcing him out to Gore guys. If I go Gudra and pulling out our Gore guys, I'm gonna go Medicham. Cause like who does he go out to? What you doing, dog? What's up? Man, if y'all knew sucker for Jessica, man. My boy can she that that nigga. That bridge is like a what you doing? <laughs> Okay, I think I just throw up raw ice punch. Like he's not going out to Napoleon. And if he goes to Gyarados, it's neutral. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna ice punch, bro. He withdraws. Logo. Oh, no way. There's just no way he swaps out into this. Did he expect drain punch? There's just no way. Maybe I'm underestimating the thing's bulk. Okay, it's stupid fat. For like no reason. I think they might even. Oh, you <laughs> I just got a crit. <laughs> oh, 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 Drew, that is unfortunate, pal. That is real unfortunate. Okay, see, even if it goes to Poland, it doesn't matter. Out speed. Ice punch again. Yeah, for some reason he protects. I'm not sure why. I mean, it just kills regardless. I mean, he wants to scout. That's the only reason I could see. But again, if I hit Ice Punch, Nihalago doesn't appreciate that. Stunfist doesn't appreciate that. Then he goes Empoleon, I Drain Punch. If he Gyarados, I outspeed. Latias doesn't come in on that. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like... Boop, 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 boop. You feel me? It's just boop, 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 boop. Is he Scarfed? Oh my god! There's no I that's who am I? Who am I? I who am I? That that never happens to me. Usually it's the other way around. 
Oh my god! I crit, next turn freeze! And he wasn't even scarfed. I think he just said that for the Intimidate. Oh my god. Maybe he can get a free switch to Empoleon now. Oh my god. Yo, they should give Gorgas a generator. It, it would jump up. Oh my god. Yo. I mean, like, I can't, I, I can't apologize. Playoff contentions is on this game. So that was really big for me. You know what I mean? That was a big threat to my team. So I, I just disrespect to apologize. So we're not gonna have this discussion anymore, boys. We're not. Drew, I'll see you in the locker room after this, my guy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, can I get this type of luck in playoffs though? Yo, Drew, dog. I mean, like, what does he do? He just goes, what, he goes Latias if he wants soon? I mean. Like, or Neha Lego, it's really just up to him. I mean, Neha Lego doesn't one shot me. I think it barely does over half with Sludge Wave, right? No, it's doing over half with Sludge Wave. That's about it. And I body it. So, it's, what's the trade off? You know, its defense is minuscule. What's the trade off of him potentially dying to a Drain Punch? Me getting that HP back with Sludge Wave? Or is it about one shotting? You know what I mean? I just feel like Chapelberry and Polion is it. Hey, what am I talking about? He didn't bring a Polion. Am I high? Am I on crack? Wait. Yes, he did. I deleted the wrong one on my notepad. And I was like, wait a minute. I didn't delete Gyarados. I deleted Napoleon. I was like, wait a minute. Did he even bring Napoleon? What am I talking about, dude? My dude. What is this? Z-move? Oh, if it's Z-move, I'm not risking it. Like, I'm not. Okay, Earth Power is able to shoot too. I think I just go Dew Blade. Okay, because check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. If I go Dew Blade. Ah, see, I was this close. On, if I go Dew Blade, it's a free switch to Empoleon. I was actually this close on running. See, I want to, I have to, I feel like I have to go Dew Blade because of the Z move. If I go Gudra, the Z move is going to hurt me. My Gudra will nine times out of ten live and knock it out with an Earthquake. You know what I mean? Or not with an Earthquake, sorry. No, I forgot I'm not running Earthquake this week with Gudra. I'm not. So yeah, I need to go. I have Ice Beam. Nothing is exponentially uh, bulky when it comes to that. everything else, pretty much. Except for his fist death. I mean, its stats are good. It's just that I, it's typing defensively is some horse cock. Okay. Gorgas is crippled. Gyarados dead. So we're in a pretty good situation right now. Um, yeah, that goes kind of annoying right now. It's more annoying rather than a threat, you know, because of the Z move. Like, it doesn't one-shot anything on my team. Outside of obviously Medicham. That's the only mod on my team with one-shots. Um, oh, obviously, am I... He doubles. So, Daddy, who's this? Oh, he had to... Yeah, dude, if I drain punch there, man, I was gonna, but it's a Z move that scares me out. I don't know if it's Z or not. That's the thing that scares me out, you know, is I'm, I'm unaware if it's Z move or not. I'm gonna go Gudra. I'm unaware. I, I was gonna run Sacred Sword too on my odd, but I ran Toxic for Gorgeist. I'm like, I can't really do much to Gorgeist. I run Toxic. He knock off. No! <sighs> That was a good play. I assume it's gonna kinda hurt now. Damn. Latiasu, that's actually, oh man, it's gonna suck a lot that that happened. So is he knock off Scald? Ice Beam Rocks, Ice Beam Defog, Ice Beam Ruse? I'm not sure. I would assume that this is not his rocker and the Sunfisk is. Yeah, I'm gonna Thunderbolt, because even if you go Stunfisk, I outspeed it and I'll go for like Draco or Ice Beam. I'm gonna Thunderbolt. Damn! That knockoff is gonna suck. Like, it's definitely not over yet. Just because Gorgeist is practically dead. 
And is Gyarados is gone? It doesn't mean the it doesn't mean the game is over by any means. Like it just it doesn't. He could definitely bring it back. He has a Nihilego right there and a Latias. Damn. That's gonna suck a lot. Oof. Alright, well that all depends what happens here, right? And pull that I knew it'd be annoying. I think maybe he's uh, afraid of going out to Nihilego versus my Gudra here because he doesn't know if I'm running Earthquake or not. Which I think is a good bluff. I'm not, but, you know. Oh, he is tanky. He is so tanky. Oh, no. Dude, I still chew, but, like... I mean, like, it'd be nice to have Gudra around, but... I get it, you know? I get it. You know what I mean, dude? I get it. I'm gonna Thunderbolt again. I mean, my only fear... I was contemplating Ice Beam here, regardless if I die or not. If it goes to the Nihil Lego. But it, would, it doesn't really matter, because damage is damage at the end of the day. I have no reason to do that, and I brought the thing pretty much down to half. He also reveals to me that he doesn't have Roost either. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, Gudra, your death will not be in vain. I'm on crack because this mon can't learn roost. <laughs> okay, I just got Metacham here. Okay, he's real to me. Knockoff and Ice Beam. So, I think he's just a tanky defog user. Why doesn't this mon get roost? It's a bird. I mean, it's not coming really down, so I guess, right? But I feel like there's some weird mons that learn ruse that shouldn't. Uh, okay, yeah, if I just go this and I hit Drain Punch, like... The worst thing he could do is go Latias and, I mean, maybe go Shadow Ball? Or Z Shadow Ball or some bull? I don't even know, dude. Like, do I Ice Punch here? I, but it's too too much of a risk, you know what I mean? Because if I Ice Punch and he stays in, just letting the thing go is like, all right, I'm going to die to a Drain Punch. I want to get the Skull Burn off. Maybe some something happens and BS happens. That is a huge risk for me. He loses nothing losing to Sapoleon. I lose a lot. My my, my Medicham getting burned. You know what I mean? So I feel like I have to Drain Punch here. Plus, regardless, depending on his uh, Latias spread, it should still be doing a lot of damage. I, I, I like see. I like this matchup because I'm actually in a match this week where my Mega Mega Medicham outspeeds the majority of his mons. Yeah, Drain Punch regardless is still doing like a lot of damage to his Latias. I'm just not gonna predict. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, look at that. He just has to go. Okay. If anything. He just goes to Latias now. I can't really see him going out into Nihilego. But it'd be kind of annoying if he does, if you guys get my drift. Be I feel like he's Z-Rock. I, I, I don't think he's Z-Poison. I, I don't, because Sludge Wave is enough to take out my Tang Growth. So I feel like it's more Z-Rock. See, me losing the Gudra is kind of annoying now, especially the Eve being knocked off, because it just handled Nihilego so well. You know, it, it handled it so well. And now, Nihilego is some weird potent threat. I kind of wish that I ran Steel Wing now, but I don't know. Like, I mean, I have Thunderbolt that cast on my Zapdos and it's extremely offensive. Like I brought an extremely offensive Zapdos, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's Choice Scarf, it's, it's modest max special attack. So. It, 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 so it all depends on how much. I'm, I'm actually curious. Because Nihalego is kind of specially tanky. Yeah, my shit 3 KO like I figured. I didn't think it was 2 a KO. Bruh.
Oh no, dude, he goes in there. Lego! Like, this sucks because now I'm, I'm forced to go out into my Dewblade, like, almost every time, right? Because he, nine times out of ten, probably brought Grass Knight. And I did not bring Rindo Berry, you know what I mean? Frick. I guess what somebody would say if they don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> um... Man, why do you have to learn Grass Knot? Like, if he's not Z-Move, I will stay in. If he's Choice Specs, I die, and I'm throwing. If I go to Swampert, he clicks any of his stab moves, he just goes Grass Knot the next turn, and I'm dead. You know what I mean, dude? And it's like, I have to go Dewblade? But I need, I, I would like to have Dewblade around for the Latias, you know what I mean? But I feel like I have to go Dewblade because no one else on my team wants to come in right now and appreciate this. Like if I go Swampert, yeah, I'll take any stab move that he has, but it doesn't matter because he can just turn around and click Grass Knight next turn, you know what I mean? Yeah, Sludge is just doing like, like, like practically 19% and his Grass Knight at mid does 86 so, it doesn't matter. Like, it's, it's gonna guaranteed knock me out. He doubles again! Oh! I mean, I guess it's not too bad, right? If he doubled to Latias, right, that'll be really good. See, the thing is, though, this mod's kind of fast, so he'll get off that will o -Wisp, like, right now, dude. He will get off that will o -Wisp, like, right now, dude. For, like, whatever reason, this mod has speed. I mean, it depends on which one he is, right? The large one, even the large one has, like, base 69 speed, Pog. So... Yeah, my Shadow Sneak... Okay, hypothetically, he's max, max defense, right? Just going all out. My Shadow Sneak is doing like 17 to 20. That's not 17. That looks like 25. You know what I mean? That's not 17 to 20. Damn. Maybe he's not running speed. He keeps doubling out his yeah, Lego. Probably to keep keep catching momentum. I, if he has foul play, it could be a little scary. Um, I'll be able to take it though. But if he has foul play, it could be a little scary. You know what I mean? If he has will over, it could be a little scary. Bruh. Bruh. If he recovers, it could be a little scary. I'm gonna just Shadow Claw. Okay, he just recovers. Okay. Okay, if he's max HG max defense, I'm doing like 29 to 36. Damn. Yeah, he's max HG max defense. I think he's gonna do it again. So then that means, what does, okay, he doesn't have Willow, so I guess it's good for me. I just toxic here. Cause I think he does the same thing again, yeah. I contemplated running SD as well too, but I think his only offensive was foul play. Hmm. I want to go out to Zapdos here. See, that's why losing Gudra kind of sucks too, because like it's offensive. Gudra's unique move pool and its offensive presence is huge. So like, if I go Gudra, like it's kind of hard for him to switch into Gudra because of the unique variety of moves he can learn. Versus if I double, if I switch out right now into Zapdos and he decides to go for like, I don't know, Toxic or something like that, maybe Foul Play, I don't know. Um, it's just one of those things where it just doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I mean, fortunately enough, he doesn't have... I'm just gonna Claw. 
scout. You know what I mean? If it's on the offensive move with Shadow Ball, it'd be kind of cool. Because I am uh, heavily invested in special defense. Nobody wants to come in on the Shadow Claw. I mean, outside of Stun Fist, and I switch into Stun Fist really good. Hey, the, the Neha Lego is the only thing kind of worrying me right now, because I, I, I can't figure out what it is. Z-Rock, I feel like it's probably the best thing he can run for my Zapdos. He swaps out. Probably Stun Fist. Yeah, I was going to say, because nobody else appreciates this. Swallowed. Yeah, also, Dublin really helps with the last two offensive mons. Like, his defensive mons, kind of. Dublin's kind of important. Um... Are there a Swamper in here now, right? I think it's called Burn Me. I think my best play is uh, Tangrowth. Yeah. I brought Sludge Bombs, so it's kind of uh, for the, um, whatchamacallit. I bought, I brought, I'm not slouched in my chair. This is weird, right? I brought Sludge Bomb. Wait, Earth Powers. No drop. Boys. I'm like lean back in my chair, but it's really weird when I'm like thinking people do that lean in pose. That is a lean back pose, you know what I mean? Okay. He'll probably want to come in on an earthquake right now, so I think I'm gonna knock off. I mean, he has a couple opportunities. He uh, three opportunities. Goes to Gore Geist. Uh lets the thing go, puts up or take lets the thing potentially go to a Giga Drain if he wants to risk that and go for like Stealth Rock. Uh or go to Latias. That's, I, I just feel like those are the three. Or you can go to Latias or Nehalego. Those are like the three places I'm doing right now. It all depends what he wants to do, you know? It really does. Okay, he just stays in. What does he do, though? Rocks? <gasps> no! I could have knocked it out. I don't think Earth would have killed it. I don't think Earth would have killed it. I don't know. I like instantly locked in EQ here, so... If the 3DS has a mic, he'll swap. Okay. <laughs> Did that kill from his range? I don't know, actually. I doubt. Yeah. Does anything win recover for, like, no reason? He got up rocks, too. That's a good trade. He got up rocks and crippled my tank growth? Okay, does knockoff kill from this range? Because my other moves are Sludge Bomb and Shockwave. So... Would knockoff kill from this range? I would assume so, right? I also... I, doesn't a thing like randomly learn recover? Dude, what am I thinking of, dude? I'm I've been playing too many ROM hacks. I'm tired of every freaking mod learning like Hydro Pump or something like that. No, it doesn't. I'm on crack. I'm on crack today, guys. Legitimately on crack. I can't seem to find a reason why he would stay in. So I'm just going to clear it again. I'm not even going to think about it. I can't seem to find a reason why he would want to keep the thing around any longer. I mean, I guess the only thing would be to stop it off for momentum and keep it around for fodder, but... Hmm. Yeah, he's in. Bro, what if I stay in here with Neha Lego? What, oh, no, I can't. I'm half. I was going to say, what if I stay in against Neha Lego? Because I've swapped into Dewblade almost every time. I have swapped into Dewblade. Almost every time. <sighs> but I find that the Hello Killer is a beast boost, and I have nobody that speeds it that does any damage. Oh! I'm not thinking. I got right to do Blade. You were made for this. He doesn't go in here. Let go. He's gonna try and set up.
Yep. He's going for the win. He's going for the win. So little does he know that I am Spadef at the Wazoo. So he just literally can't kill me. Shadow Saw, Shadow Sneak combo should be enough for this man. Depending on rolls. It all comes down to rolls. I have to get a high Shadow Claw roll for me for it to kill the combo. I'll do Z Shadow Ball then. Which is Z Shadow Ball, I'm in does 115. So if he's for some reason Z Shadow Ball, uh, then I'm dead, but... Uh, a plus one Shadow Ball for the Timid or whatever, like, I just live. So it, it all comes down to what exactly it is, you know what I mean? Reflect type? Bruh. Wait, that's still hers though. That's still super effective. Hey, hey, wait a minute. He has Shadow Ball Stab now. Wait, that plus one Shadow Ball? <laughs> wait, he said he's my typing now? That actually has a chance to kill me. I also did not get the Shadow Claw roll that I was looking for. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, he's got a good chance to knock me out with that. He's got a good chance to knock me out with that. Wait a minute. So you reflect on became the same type because me, I do the same damage. But what's scary about it is uh, Shadow Ball Stab now. That also means that I guess I could just come in and Thunderbolt. I'm a Zapdos. But it's really scary. Like, in comparison to the rest of my team, you know? I didn't get the roll that I was looking for. I think I'm gonna Shadow Sneak. Just in case, if he gets the roll with Shadow Ball, I'm gonna Shadow Sneak. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Gotta get my charger, my DS is gonna die! Oh my god. Oh my god. I got so scared. My DS is gonna die. It was flashing lights! I hear like Kanye West. All right, well, he's dead. Wow, he didn't run Shadow Ball? Like, I feel like that would have been a good strat. Reflect type my Dewblade to become the same typing and then gain Shadow Ball stat. I feel like that was a good strat. You know, I feel like it was a good strat. Okay, well, I mean, maybe his last move is a grass move. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go out into. If I go Zapdos, I can't, dude. Like. I think I'm gonna go out into my Tangrowth here. Because if I go Tangrowth, because he can't really touch me if I go Tangrowth. And then if I wanna, like, just d knock off whatever the damn Lego has, you potentially even wanna go for Earthquake, I'll be okay. You know what I mean? So he doesn't feel his mass move. It is indeed foul play. I have Rocky Helmet too. So I feel like they'll be good in my favor. You know what I mean? Bruh. Um, I'm just going to knock off. I'm going to ask him about that later. I actually don't know if he's running um, Shadow Ball or not. I actually have no idea.
Okay, best case scenario, I like knock him out, but I think he's gonna heal up. <laughs> I think he's gonna heal up because the thing is so fast. Um. I think, okay, I think what I have to do is I just let him heal up, click knock off again, I die. Do I go up Medicham? I Ice Punch, because of toxic damage, you know what I mean? I go do Blade on the, yeah, I think that's what I do. Oh, he actually doesn't even do that. Oh, we traded. So I'm dead here now too. And I just go Swampert. Not even that. Forget that. I'm gonna go right to Dewblade. I mean, it all comes down to what he is. I I again I really do believe that he's Z Rock. That's the best optimal play that he could run to be able to take down my Zapdos. You know? If he has Shadow Ball, that actually could be kind of scary. Knock off. Maybe he wasn't Z move then. I don't know. Not too sure. Hey, GG's from Andrew. Very, very, very unfortunate outcome for my boy Drew. The freeze was huge. The crit on the Gorgites was huge. And he had to play a little bit more defensive with that Mon uh, to try and get its HP back up. Everything about it was insanely, insanely huge. Those two were the biggest two plays here. I feel like maybe he could have brought it back. Maybe he brought him to score down a lot lower too. Had he have gotten off maybe like a shadow ball or something like that. Because that actually would have been scary. I mean, I guess I had a Swampert that guaranteed lives and knocks it out with Ice Punch. But like at the same time as well too, like his typing was changed. So it all depends on his investments and whatever. I don't know. I'll have to ask him about it. Guys, we're in playoffs, boys. Hey, hit that like button down below for playoff hype. We are indeed in playoffs. If you guys enjoyed it, that like button down below. Subscribe, and I'll chat to you guys later.